I'm going to Frankenson's sports card show that's every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday for the first time. It's the biggest card show consistently in LA. Come on, let me in, Jeep. Oh All right, what are they putting bikes on that rack? Thank you, sports cards. All right, guys, come on. That's not, it's not real. I, this is a borrow. I'm borrowing this Tesla. Wow, all I can say is this thing is a, this thing's a freaking bullet and I like it a lot, but not right now. I got rid of the Honda Pilot. Remember the Honda Pilot I bought for two grand? That car, finally the transmission went out and we had to get a tow company come in. We found one in Sawtell. Don't remember the name, but they came up looked at the car, the guy moved it over so I didn't get a ticket for street cleaning and he paid me $200 for my used car. And that $200, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to invest it back into sports cards and buy what I actually like. I'm gonna be buying DeMarcus Cousins cards. This typical day in LA, we're, we're three months in and we're prepping for the next like move here, which stay tuned, we have another move. Do -do 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 -do. Breaking news. Dealing with the traffic right now, we're on the 10 East, we're going to eat right now. We're going to Amboy Quality Meats. Floor manager here says it's excellent. So, I don't know, we'll see. And then we're gonna go to Frank and Sons. I really wanna get some deals done. Frank and Sons is one of the bigger card shows every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I've heard about it for a long time. And my last week in LA here, I said it. Anyway, my last week in LA here and uh, we gotta go check it out. So we're gonna hit it and uh, see what happens. Going into one of the largest sports card shows that happens every single week. We're here at Frankenson's Sports Cards and Collectibles, Pokemon cards, comic books. I mean, the parking here is so filled. Sports card Costco in here right now and Pokemon and comic books and arcades. So this is it right here. We're at Frankenson's and, and we're gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna give you guys a tour. We're gonna buy some cards today. All right, if you guys ever wanna come to Frankenson's, here's the show hours. Wednesday from three to nine, Saturday from nine to six, and Sunday from 10 to five. And they are closed on these days. It took us two hours to get here and we're gonna make it worthwhile. Frankenson's Sports Card Collectibles. Let's do this. Oh my. Look at this place. Like this video, comment down below. If you guys found anything interesting, which you're going to see, I'm like amazed. We're going to vlog in here and see what happens. Let's find some cards, let's find some cool stuff. Let's get some deals done. Here we go. Yao Ming, red. There's a cool card. Jeremy Lin at a 85. It's a nice $3 card. Today, we're going to go through this $3 box. <laughs> this is the first table where I honestly feel like I could find some stuff that I like. A lot of it's wax. There's only two two sections for sports cards. The rest is Pokemon. So we're going through these boxes right now. He almost took my card. <laughs> okay, how many people can relate to that? He's in my. I'm, I just went and found this Yao Ming Red. That just happened in the background. I'm like, in my mind, I'm panicking because I'm like, he could snag this live, caught in 4K. And we're gonna fly through Venus Cancer. So I'm gonna just show you guys my process, and I'll just stop when I see something like King's card for the PC. We'll put on the side Anthony Hardaway versus Jordan and I'll just I'm gonna fly through here so we'll tell you if we see something that's a cool card I'd like to buy it for a dollar potentially but but usually I'll put like the cards I'm going to buy at three dollars and the cards that are maybes I'm gonna put on I always put on the top this Jordan red it's kind of cool these Jordan encores these are actually not bad Rasheed Wallace game used jersey Tim Duncan out of 399 3999 there we go, that's a win. Oscar Robertson on 99 for Media Premier. You don't see a lot of that. Sean Marion auto for three bucks. Hey, he collects cards. It's actually kind of cool. Jake LaRavia, Jake, if you're watching this, I collect people who collect cards. I think that's cool. So Jake, we're gonna buy that actually. Tristan Thompson. That's funny. Marquise Chris from Sacramento, Thon Maker. Remember how good this guy was supposed to be? This guy was supposed to be one of the top players. And then they found out he might be like 35 years old instead of 20. There's a lot to look up the story behind this guy. Archie Goodwin from Kentucky. We'll buy that and we'll drop that off at the Roadshow. For Jimmy from the Kentucky Roadshow. We're gonna go see him this summer. So I thought first I thought this was an Aaron Rodgers rookie. And uh, I got fooled. It is a 2012 from a 2005, so nope. But this is crazy. This is probably the best find it, but I'm not gonna take a gamble on it. A Jerry Rice autograph. I wonder if it's real or fake. What do you guys think, real or fake on this? Jerry Rice for three bucks. I'm not gonna buy it. If I made a mistake, I did. What do you guys think, real or fake? 
the stack I picked off from the $3 section. So here we go. Michael Vick Hyper, Andrew Luck Colts rookie patch, Tim Duncan out of $3.99, Tony Parker game use patch, another Tony Parker, Ray Allen game used, Jake LaRavia for PC, Yao Ming Red Wave, Jeremy Lin out of 88 Red Wave, Reggie Bush rookie jersey, and this sick Ricky Williams. If I can never find a deal, I always go through the value boxes and I create my own deal. How about that? They put De'Aaron Fox on the cover of Beckett. This is so sick. Are you kidding me? Never in a million years did I think a Sacramento Kings player besides DeMarcus Cousins could be on the front or something. In the Frank and Sons area, you can contact Brian. Brian's got some great selection here. Here's his information. And he also does bucket submissions. So, if you're in Frank and Sons, come in the sports section. He'll take care of you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I just spent $30 on sports cards and I have no regrets. The value boxes, and I was just talking to the guy here and he said that these boxes sell out the most. One to like 500 is such a sweet spot to buy at. Labs, Kobe. Nicole Hardeman, freaking wild, his value. Like, not like thousands of dollars, but people love this guy, and it was you, Darvish. Different situation, Otani can hit the ball, and he's, Otani, to me, if he stays healthy, sky's the limit. Nice Christian McCaffrey, that's not bad, 30 bucks. I'm not really crazy about this stuff. I don't know what these slabs are. Aaron Rodgers, rookie for the PC. It's like a flea market, is literally what it is. It's like a flea market, I see, some overpriced stuff to be honest with you, but it's happening. in. It's our first little go around. Look at these. Ronaldo. Boom. LeBron. LeBron. Curry. This one's cool. Look at LeBron James. Jordan. Boom. LeBron. Take a look at this. It's the Dodgers. Kobe. You know, I remember when the ho it's funny that these two are next to each other because these are two people that the hobby pumped up and they absolutely did not do anything. This is why you guys gotta buy what you like. And just don't listen to what people say. Like even even for me, like take like if I'm interested in something, doesn't mean you have to be interested in something. Just find some team. The, remember the factors. Go watch the video about how how you should be a collector. I put the factors in on why you should buy a card. It could be from an investing perspective, it could be from collecting. Tap into that, it's very important for the hobby. Look at this. We got Aaron Rodgers. Nice Jordan Palmer auto. Is this case? Huh? Under Armour sunglasses. This is an Under Armour sunglass case. This thing's beautiful. It's not, so I took that little Under Armour sign off of the corner and put that little sign up there myself. That's uh, perfect. How is this different than setting up a sports car show? It's, it's like a little card shop. Like we have regular customers that come in every week. All the regular comes in every day for or every Wednesday for Patriots fans, picture cards. And like every Saturday, got a guy comes in for San Francisco 49er cards and stuff. And so you can cater to what they need. Yeah, and I just you know during the week I pick up different things at the shop. Even to make this, pick up stuff right here, and you know, cater to what they get, what they want. Do you like this better than setting up at a card show? Yeah. I could see it. This is like, it is like a miniature card shop. Yeah, it's, it's like a little, it's a shop. It's my own little shop. I, I have, usually I have a big TV here. It went out, well, but I have a big TV here with the games on. Yeah, games here, got Good games vibes. there. Good vibes. I mean, I like it because you have all this variety. Like these gloves are amazing. You've got like, you couldn't put this up at a card show. Like, yeah, unless we displayed it like this, but it takes yeah. a lot of work. So, love it, bro. And then I got this, we got like dollar cards here for all the kids. What? Oh my. my team. And that's a tool, it's like a tool set? It's a toolbox, yeah. Dollar cards in the toolbox, dude. You went, you went outside the box here. Yeah, I make these. I, I make these. This is like a display model. It's a little, uh, mm. I just, like a patio cooler, but it's a mini version. So Crushing I, I, I it, bro. I, I respect the effort, man. Yeah. Sheesh. Are you? What's your Instagram? Uh, GP Sports Ability at Instagram and TikTok. Hey, hit him up, man. This guy's got a cool stuff. Got some sets. You're sick. I've bought cards from him at shows at Del Mar Card Show and some other places. So seeing these people live and and setting up here. That's cool, man. This is a different perspective for me. I like this a lot. This is cool. So my favorite booth so far is this one. No it is joke. The, it is the best booth. It is the best booth. Creativity and it's fun. That's what I love to see. Look at these. Some old school boxing. Roy Jones Jr. was a beast. Joe Frazier, legend. Tawny. Look at this Ichiro Jumbo. I didn't even know this was a thing. Dying Funkos. I feel like I'm filming in the MLB stadium right now trying to film these, but Jerry Rice. Bo Jackson, Bo Nose, Drew Brees, Chris Bryant, those are sick, I love those. Clayton Kershaw, he's a wax in here. 
Is this a card you have? We got soccer. Apparently this is no good, but it's tennis. WWE. We got Chrome F1. Tim Tebow in a Patriots uniform. You never see this. It's all Tim Tebow. How you doing, Jay? How you doing, man? So I'm you said you're good, one man. of the oldest vendors. I'm one of the oldest vendors here. Um, my company is called Gemini Sports Cards. Gemini Sports Cards. So I started uh, with my father oh. years ago. That's a picture I keep with me and my dad. And a lot of people know my dad because uh, he was one of the original vendors at the original Frank and Sons on Walnut Drive uh, back in 1992. He was actually one of the original vendors that used to sell graded cards. Wow. And uh, I started when I was eight years old. And uh, ever since then, you know, it was a father son business and uh, we built it up and now I'm still here and we've diversified. We sell a lot of autographs, memorabilia. My niche is more uh, wrestling, have a real passion for sports cards. I'm a PSA authorized dealer too. So appreciate people like Jay because he's all about the hobby, promoting the hobby, gives back to a lot of kids. I follow him on his videos. So yeah, I think we're all in the, we all have the same type of uh, model in our head, the all same type of thought process, you know, we're all about supporting each other and promoting a good um, attitude and always get, giving off good vibes here at Frank and Sons. That's great, man. Love that, bro. Love yeah, that. Man. All right, show me your favorite um, thing. We'll just do a quick run through. You know, vintage cards. I love my 55 Tops Roberto Clemente rookie card. Okay. I think that's always a big, uh, you know, something everyone. I love the BGS 10 Pristines, my nice. Zeke Elliott, you know. Um, I love, I actually have a beautiful complete set, 9697 Tops Chrome basketball set. Wow, man. Down there. Some unique items, I would probably say that Muhammad Ali autograph, you know, that was when he was out touring and it says how to avoid AIDS, so he signed that. You know, we sell like a lot of belts, a lot of figures, Funko Pops, so we have like this beautiful Bret Hart piece. Wow. Um, it's got a signature belt, his rookie cards, the shades, the pop. Lord's a Flatbush poster signed wow. by Sylvester Stallone and Henry Winkler. I was one of the only ones that did the signing with Ultimate Warrior in um, 2012. Right here? Yep, and that was at the um, older Frank and Sons. When you say you're one of the only ones to do the signing, did he not do a lot of signings? He didn't do a lot of signings. Ultimate Warrior was very like under the radar. So his first West Coast appearance was with me because his agent was out of England. And uh, he decided to do the signing with me and they used to do a show here called Nuke the Fridge Con. Wow. So they had Stan Lee here and we had Ultimate Warrior there. Wow. So it was pretty unique. That's pretty cool. And then I would say like a lot of these rock autos are pretty rare because now he doesn't sign rock, he signs Dwayne Johnson. When Do you think The Rock will ever do an autograph signing? And like why doesn't he? Is it because he mean, doesn't need to? Probably and I think because he's bigger than wrestling, like he's a pop culture icon. And you know, he'll sign maybe if you like go to like the movie premieres and stuff, but for him to actually go to a signing, sit down, I mean, you would have to charge a thousand dollars for him. I know Stallone at New York Comic Con was charging 1500 bucks. Wow. And he does one show a year. So Dwayne Johnson, Stallone, I would put him up maybe above Stallone. If there's you know? any if there's anybody that hasn't done a signing because like they're tough at signing or they just don't want to, like if you could have one person sign, who would it be like that hasn't signed? For wrestling? For anything. You know who's really tough? It's Vince McMahon. He doesn't sign? He's like you have to almost stalk the guy to get Vince McMahon. Really? Yeah, you know, Vince McMahon, The Rock. Brock Lesnar wasn't doing signing, but he did a private recently, so he's now Steven Seagal, maybe. Okay. I think maybe he started it. I mean, Pacino does privates, you know? Robert yeah. De Niro, he doesn't do signings. Yeah. You know, so I mean, if you really sit down and think about it, you know, those are some tougher names. This is bigger than like a sports card show, like in terms of setting up. It is, it is because Frank and Sons is, is not only nationally known, but it's like known all over the world. Like when I do other shows and other conventions and other cons and I tell people, hey, I'm out of LA, I do a show called Frank and Sons. They're like, oh yeah, we heard about it, you know, wow. we know about it. And I tell them like, yeah, it's a great show. It's a family show. and. It's just not targeted, you know, just on one thing. It has almost anything you're looking for here. Wow. Sports cards, sports memorabilia, toys, figures, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Hot Wheels. Back in the day, like when we collected cards, like back in the day, it was coin shops. So you would go to a baseball card store and they would sell coins and baseball cards. So I remember this one card shop in Anaheim called Brewerts. Yeah. And I remember we walked in there and the set that got me involved in this business was 1989 Upper Deck. 
card number one, the Ken Griffey card. And the guy was like, you should buy this set. And my dad was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy this set. And I even remember him saying, check out the Griffey card. Make sure you like that Griffey card. If you don't like that Griffey card, take it out and I'll, and I'll give you a different one. And this was like before grading and he's like, what you want to do is you want to look at the centering, you want to look at the corners, you want to look at the back of the hologram. And I remember my father saying, yeah, it is off center. Do you have another one? And the guy that owned the shop was like, here, we'll give you another one. What? Yeah, because cool. they didn't shrink wrap 89 they Upper Deck They would never do sets. that in a million oh, years no, today. No, no, but it was different back then. So I think it was Brewer's Coin Shop. What is like one thing that your dad ingrained in you or taught you that you like never will forget? Uh, especially like in like terms of sports cards and memorabilia this business like what is something he taught you like a life lesson or something respect your elders always be kind because you never know when you might need someone to help you in life it's always good to give back a little bit you know okay. and uh we're very uh strong christian family in my family my, in my household so uh we believe in um always uh lead by example Thanks. victor thank you so yeah, much yeah man no oh, it's nice cool. seeing you man nice see you. shohei otani beautiful autograph nice photo the hit of the mlb and then you know they have the best hitter in baseball mike trout his first all-star game in 2012 beautiful dollar packs here for one dollar you can get 94 score which is when i was born we got leaf 1994 we got score baseball so I wasn't collecting during any of this edge 95 no idea I don't come from the 90s collecting I come from post recession 2008 2009 2010 those years to me it's very comparable to what's going on now I got to see a lot of different things the modern market 90s I wasn't around so I actually love hearing about 90s stories because a lot of the 90s collectors have great insight I just don't have that experience so I don't really talk about the 90s much I, that's why you, when you see me on this channel, I just show you guys 97 and I don't really understand it, but I learned from others. When I worked at my dad's donut shop, they would come up and ask me, hey, how much I, did, I hit the, did I hit the jackpot? And they come up with like 88 baseball. There's nothing wrong with 88 and 91 baseball and all the Griffey sets, but it's just, it's, it's the junk wax era. There was too much of it. People open for nostalgia. So if somebody opens this, they, they remember it. And they remember guys like Brian Taylor for the Yankees. There's a name for you guys, look him up. He was supposed to be really good for the Yankees and it did not work. 2000 Bowman, 99 Bowman, 97. See, 97 to 99, 2000. Look how much the wax is. Optic 2021. The modern market drive for cards is just like up and down, up and down, up and down. And it's just the market's adjusting. What's up, bro? Let's see what's up to the vlog. Oh, no, you're good. Check it out. Hey, let's go. What'd you get? Oh, drips and hits. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Sick. Follow him on Instagram. Let's go. So tell me about these. So, so this is just most of my best altars that we have. Aerodactyl. Okay. Dragonite. I mean, Charizard, Dragonite. It's all the dragons right here on the first page. Yeah. Second page, we have some of the EV heroes. This one is Ash, Pikachu. You know, you gotta save as much as you can get of this. Yeah. Because, you know, no more Ash in the new sets, right? To look at this. That's the new one. Dude. That's the one that everybody's after right now. What? How much is that worth? That one, LP. Last one sold, I think, is for 800 bucks. Wow. Dude, this one three years ago it was no, not even three years ago. Two years ago, this one was a 25, 35 dollar car. Why did it blow up? Hype, hype. It just happens, right? People love it. It's a good set. All, yeah. all the tag teams. You want to get them? Okay. So whatever what you, what what whenever you see tag teams, trade them. All Especially right. this one right here. I like oh, it. Get him, man. Cool, man. Get I'm going to get into it. Thank you, bro. Get him. Yeah. yeah. We're learning, let me, bro. Let me, let me give you something away about that. So all you have to do to win this, go follow him on Instagram. Like this video and comment who your favorite Pokemon of all time is and why. All right. I asked him who his favorite Pokemon is. Tell her who you think. Snorlax. Oh, right. okay. I always send her yeah. memes of Snorlax. What? Oh, yeah. dude. I, I haven't seen a meme or anything on your uh, channel or anything. I see. So sick. I'm looking for this All one on the PSA fans. Ooh, Snorlax. that'd be sick. Yeah. Is your son? Yeah, yeah, my son. Your son? Heck yeah. So wait, you guys got a bunch yeah. of wax? Yeah. Okay, so wait, look, watch. Yes. Collect Snorlax? Not yet. No, not yet. Not Let yet. Better start. How oh about that? my <laughs> gosh, there you go. Well, unless you want the Japanese with the Eevee, you choose. I like this one. That one's better. They've got kitchen knives. 
Shout out to my mom, she's a huge Seahawks fan. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Derek Fisher, Shaq, and Kobe. Ask me, do I want to slam this? What? In the ensuing battle, the palace was destroyed, but the champion was victorious. Hi. You guys, this is so nostalgic. So I used to love Gumby. They've got Gumby, they've got Pokey. Oh, he's $55. It's kind of expensive. It's expensive. Gumby, Batman and Robin. We got Snorlax. This is me after eating my third dinner at the National. <laughs> I got her laughing. Wow, the Wookiee is $300. I think everything's half off. That thing looks cool. Pokemon. Jungle. They got the Neos. $399 for this pack right here. Original Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to love Yu-Gi-Oh! If anybody was a duelist back in the day on Yu-Gi-Oh! That was my favorite thing was dueling people. We played for prizes, played at birthday parties. I used to have, love Dark Magician, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Spellbinding Circle, Fusion. The list goes on. It's unbelievable what they have here. Oh, classic 1999 Diglett. Original Pokemon, 1999 Pikachu, PSA 8. Whoa, look at that. Legend. Andre the Giant, Hammerhead Diamond. There's so much to look at here. I feel like I'm in like Mexico City, but collectibles all over the place. Job of the Hut and Doc and Crumb. Got E.T. Marty McFly. The Joker. This looks like a straight movie scene, but it's a toy. Bruce Wayne. Alfred. Oh, I love Ninja Turtles as a kid. Look at this. Nostalgia is such a beautiful thing. What a thing to sell to people. Sell people their memories. Like, I personally don't have to buy anything for my memories, but I'm just playing around with them and like the Pokemon and Ninja Turtles and all these little things. Street Sharks, Yu-Gi-Oh! Just tapping in. We're just tapping in and that's pretty cool. People have complained to me saying that I should get another backpack for sports cards and collectibles because my backpack here is kind of falling apart. And I, guys, I gotta tell you, I found the new backpack. I just want to say I'm going to get this Bulbasaur for the National this year, and that's, that's a done deal. I'm just kidding. I'm not getting it. Corolla DeVille, $10 prints. These are sick. I can feel it. I can feel the true collector. The true collector is just here to buy things that bring them joy and to tap in. After a long day at work, a long football practice, you know, you got double days, you got double basketball practice, spring training, whatever you got. You got a long job at Jack in the Box or at Apple, and you just want to come back home and tap in and collect your sports cards or Pokemon or figurines. That's where this whole true collector thing comes from. And I'm telling you, it's alive and well. The deal's getting done. People lined up, collections. It's crazy. It's kind of like Burbank. I think they're lined up to sell or buy magic or something. So community's live and well. Do you have? The Barbie and the Simpsons. You have these in your home. Mm -hmm. Cash out. <laughs> oh, Marvel Collector. Vinyls. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just kidding. I know what it is. Tell me how you say it. Vinyl. It's vinyl record. I've been saying vinyls for the last year and a half. We got Tyler the Creator. Mega Man 2. Oh, 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 the Cure. Tupac. Lover. Who's that? Taylor Swift. T Swift. Bohemian. Oh, 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 wait, come here, come here. This is Bomberman. There's a video game. You guys, my life in high school, there's a couple things I did. Played sports, played video games, played with sports cards, but video games. This was, this is the game. Actually, that was high school, so I'll go back a little bit. This game changed my life. Halo 3. Played it. I'll never forget it when my mom brought it home for my birthday when I when this game first came out and I spent a lot of time with my brother playing Halo 3. It was rated M for Mature but at the time I think I was 13, 14 but Halo 3 is a classic. They don't have Modern Warfare 2 but this game, COD 4. I started playing Call of Duty 4. That was huge if you remember Call of Duty. I personally don't really play Call of Duty anymore. They've really oversaturated it. It's not my favorite. You remember playing a certain game like Skate for the first time. Like you had to with skate you had to convert over from Tony Hawk Pro Skater and you had to go over to skate which 
Oh, this was a line to crawl. This was a line to cross to try this game for the first time on a new gen system. Battlefield was big, a big deal. Lego Batman for the first time. My question for you guys: What was the best system ever made, and what was the best video game that you ever played? What was the name of it? If you guys are ever at Frank and Sons and you want some nostalgia, come right here. Retro underscore Polo eighty seven, my man. How long have you been collecting? I've been doing it for eight years. So why video games? Why video games? I grew up with video games. You know, from nineties and everything. What was your favorite video game? Sunset Riders. Sunset Super Riders. Nintendo. Super Nintendo? Yeah. And do you think Super Nintendo was the best system of all? I believe so, yeah. You I, so. I like Super Nintendo. I'm a favorite of all time. If you could go back and buy one video game that's like, there's just the one, like you would have to live with this one video game, what would it be? Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time? Yeah. Okay, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, thank you. Great stuff, bro. Oh, thank you. It. First time here. Jerry Springer, oh my goodness. Rest in peace to Jerry Springer. We've got Dragon Ball Z, we've got Sonic, we've got the little guys, we've got the Nintendo Wii, Tech Dex. Oh, look at these Game Boy Advance games. Nintendo DS. Most pops are on sale. Whoa, we got exclusive pop figurines. So when it means exclusive, it means like Hot Topic exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive, like a Tony Romo Funko Pop, look it up right now. It's not gonna be $50, it's gonna be around 100 bucks for a Tony Romo Funko because it was a Toys R Us exclusive and Toys R Us is out of business. So Funko Pops, you go for like a Snoop Dogg Funko at Target, they're gonna have a ton. And for six months, they're gonna have more. They don't really go out of circulation. But you look up a Happy Gilmore Funko or Bobby Boucher, they don't really have them. So like Funko Pops can increase in value. It depends if it's an exclusive though. They're overproducing a lot of Funko Pops now, I think. I don't exactly know the vaulting process, but I'm kind of learning about it. But I've noticed that a lot of these Funkos that are worth more are Funkos from like back, like when they just did specific things like a San Diego Comic Con, or they did like an exclusive drop at Hot Topic or Target. You know, we got Stan Lee right there. That's an exclusive. We got John Wick, which I didn't even know that was 150. American Psycho. We got the Child exclusive. Luke Skywalker. That's the set of two. Oh, look, 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 AG. Come here. Stitch in the house. So I met Tim Allen. That might be a buy. Tim Allen, originally original Toy Story Funko. Right? So I see some of these here. A lot of these are selling for like 15 to 25 because it's like a, it's an anniversary edition. So probably gonna pass on this right now. It's 65, but I could get if I can get it for 20 to 25. That'd be sick because I got Tim Allen to sign one of the windows. So what I would do is I would pop swap the window in and it's a signed Funko. Met Tim Allen like a week ago. So yeah, that's pretty cool. He's a nice guy. Oh my gosh. I can't. They have the original Pokemon. I would just buy these. What does Repro mean? Reproduced. Reproduced? It's actually not an original. It's not original. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> wrong answer. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Uh -huh. Look at these. We've got Game Boys, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. I'm telling you right now, out of all handheld systems, this was actually one of the better ones that they made. And then they have Earthbound, Super Nintendo. If I had to buy something, probably gonna take the PSP, which we might come back for. The PK games, they got tons of selection. I like the shirt. Thank you. Excellent. And Sega, Sega Sports, and GameCube, Nintendo. These are so cool. Nintendo Wii. Oh, the originals. Neha Pro Skater, Rainbow Six, WWE, Superman. I used to play this a ton, 1080. Snow oh, one. I love 1080. Do you like 1080? At the arcade as well. Oh my gosh, at the arcade, yes. And this was an arcade game, Cruising. Yes. What's your favorite video game of all time? Of nostalgic. All time. It's got to be nostalgic, though. Cruise and Exotica for 64. 64? Yeah. And the best system, what was it for you? PS2. PS2? Yeah. Oh, man. That's cool. <laughs> oh, Game Boy Advance, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, SpongeBob, Super Mario World 2. Can't beat it. We've got to purchase everyone. We're going to buy this Billy D. Williams, aka Lando Carlisian. I met him, got him on a window, so we're gonna get this signed and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, but I'm gonna pick this up. It's only $7, so we're gonna make it happen. Has sold us the Lando Carlisian, seven bucks. Thank you for the deal, and I don't have cash. She has cash, so she's gonna help us out here. There we go. $7. Thank you, John. 
My pleasure, Appreciate thank you. you. Yeah. Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Ooh. Hello, comic collectors. I'm just kidding. <laughs> These are just weird, fun packs that people like me like opening. It's like, oh my gosh, the X-Files worth nothing, but it's a fun rip, you know? You love the Toy Story ones. They're stickers. Mm -hmm. They have Rugrats, G.I. Joe. I've seen those too. Mm -hmm. There was something that happened with those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. True Crime, Roger Rabbit. Yo MTV Raps. What is that? It was a rap show on MTV. A little, it was before my time, but like looking at clips on YouTube, so good. A lot of rappers were broken on this show. Denny's, Denny's, the restaurant, diner, one of, my not favorite places they used to give out hobbit packs you can get a grand slam breakfast and some hobbit packs where are you gonna find that at today we need denny's to bring back packs denny's affiliates if you're watching this bring out some better call Saul packs and the world will be a way better place you guys look at this this is all seinfeld we got a seinfeld lego set we have funko pop little housing little apartment looking things we've got a backpack some more Funkos. We got Jerry. Look at this. We got George right there. Check these out. These little play sets. Costanza. Monk's Cafe. Ketchup and mustard. Some socks. We got Elaine right there. The sign ladle, which is awesome. Baseball. We got Seinfeld socks. We got Monopoly. And look at this. We got Fusilli. Pasta. All right, I need you guys in the comments. What is your favorite Seinfeld episode? You gotta tell me in the comments. Give me a reference. What a show. We found the coolest donut shop ever. She did. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it's amazing. I think it's incredible. I think this is the building of my dreams. Gosh, this is me going to the national right here. Oh, look at this. The donut hole. What the heck? Okay, if my dad's watching this, anybody that supports Bill's Donuts Granite Bay, we need a revamp. Sheesh. Wow. This is so cool. Cash only. Look at these babies. What donut would you guys buy? This is the Easter egg of the Frankenstein's video. And this is usually just a drive through but we're able to walk through it. Man, the tables. That's what we do at the donut shop. And they make the icing. You used a lot of my cash at the show. On what? On a Funko Pop. And what? And sports cards. So she's limited on cash, so now we're here. Strawberry whipped cream and glazed. Sheesh. Look at this. Unbelievable. How much? Six dollars. Six dollars. So this is their best seller. It is a cream filled strawberry donut. Here this. The glaze. Oh, All right. The one, glaze. One to ten, go. Big and fluffy. Mm-hmm. One to ten. Ten. 10. 10, without a doubt. Wow, okay. Now we're rolling. Crazy. So if you guys are ever in La Puente, California, you guys gotta come to the donut hole. So come to the donut hole, enjoy it, and trust me, you will not regret it. So burnt out, how about you? I will not look at another Funko for about a week. I can't. I don't even wanna look at sports cards the rest of the night. I'm exhausted. This place, I'm gonna give it uh, eight out of ten. My first experience. It was really just. Oh, it was surprisingly overwhelming. These Funko Pop toys are crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys can ever make it out to Frank and Sons, trust me. Just check it out. I mean, it is like a Costco line here, and there also happens to be freaking Benihana of all places right there. So, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost there to forty thousand. Follow me on Instagram, Mojo Sports LLC, to stay in touch with me. And if you guys want to use my links down below, that whatnot link will get you your first $10 to spend in my Zion case code. Use the code MOJO10. Hope everyone's staying safe. We got summer 2023 coming up. National in Chicago. Let's run it.